Hi friends, I'm Jesse from Shrink RC, and we're gonna do a deep dive on my Tamiya Tundra that is built onto an Element Enduro. So this is my Tamiya Tundra. One of the things that is unique about the Tamiya Tundra and the Tamiya F350 is that even though they're advertised as one-tenth scale, they're really about one-twelfth scale, so they're a little bit smaller. What I mean by that is if you look at, uh, I, I don't want to roll this back and knock that off of there, but if you look at this F350 and this Chevy here, you'll see how small the F350 looks compared to the Chevy. And that's because this Chevy body is around one to nine and a half. And this Ford body is around one to 12. And same thing with this Tundra. I'm pointing that out because with the Tundra especially, it comes with really, really small fender wells. And so that's why I've cut these open about five millimeters. I do that by taking a pair of calipers and I set them at the width that I want. Like I said, in this case, about five millimeters. And then I scrape all along the side of the opening there and I, and I create a mark with that. And I go back and forth until there's a scraped line on there. And then that gives me something to grind up to. This body is not painted. I wanted this truck to be white and I started looking around for what shade of white and then I looked at it and I went, it's already white and it's, and it's even kind of shiny and it didn't really have any sort of tooling marks in it or flash. So I just left it. So this is another truck that I didn't paint and not only I didn't paint it, but nobody painted it. It's just the way it came out of the mold. So uh, kudos to Tamiya, they, they really, uh, you know, they're more of a model company that went into RC, and so the, the quality of their their surfaces and everything is just really, really nice. But Here I painted the grill black inside of here. Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. That logo is from my wife's Toyota Venza keychain. It was the exact perfect size to fit on there. Now, I found out later that you don't have to destroy your wife's Toyota Venza keychain because you can order spare Toyota keys on eBay and they're not very expensive and they have that little chrome piece on them and I even have a spare sitting in a box for when I need it. This uh, bumper is from an uh, Axial SCX-10 too, I think. And then I, I cut a piece of a, of a bar off of another bumper because this one didn't have it and I wanted a bar like this on there. See, I cut it off of another bar and then I screwed it on with some tiny little screws. So that's actually a two-piece bumper that I fabricated even though it's plastic. These, you'll recognize if you're familiar with the Tamiya Tundra full RC, these are the lights that normally would come up back here behind the roof. And I just uh, screwed some holes in there and mounted them up on there, gave it, gave it that look. You'll see the wheels and tires on here are really small, and that's because the, the truck is really small. It's, a, it's a, only a 12th scale. So I put some 1.55 wheels on it with these uh, tires that are, I don't have my glasses on, but I think these are 3.75. And they're a pretty small tire, but for this scale, they're actually pretty big. So um, this back bumper, is a, is a part that RC four-wheel drive sells, and I can't remember what it's called, like the Tough Series or something like that, but that bumper is meant for a Toyota Tacoma, and it, it's really a pretty good fit on there. I had to make my own little mount for it. I designed and printed my own little drop mount for it to get it in the sweet spot where I wanted it there, but I'm sure that uh, something is available aftermarket that, that, that hits that spot, but I just, I made this piece up because I had the time at, at the time. These wheels are from RC, uh, I'm sorry, these wheels are from Gearhead and they are, they're their uh, 12 hole classic bead lock, 1.55. And they're a pretty cool wheel. You can't adjust the offset on them and that's where they can get tricky but they, they fit on here. You'll see this has the independent front suspension. Now, these days, Element sells RCs with an independent front suspension. 
and uh, and it is this independent front suspension but that's not how this got the suspension originally they sold that uh, this as a kit and you would start off with a solid axle and you'd swap it now it's kind of funny because in the real world a lot of people would would often uh, actually swap a independent front suspension for a solid axle but in this case it's going for sort of a realistic look and a different driving experience and so at any rate and they don't even make that kit anymore i digress but this this kit uh, is essentially what is now uh, on a night runner for example so if you buy an element night runner you would have something similar as a starting point for this this is actually from the kit here i cut down that that front skid a little bit it's a really tall skid on the factory one but because of how i've got the body and everything positioned i wound up cutting that down here's our body mounts I sometimes forget to to show those but here's our body mounts on here i drilled some holes in those two at some point for something but let's take the body off it's just some catch keys on the roof some rolled up piece of cloth and that's a dog bag some sticks this is a little little blanket stick the body off That light up there was kind of a cheapy light. I don't even remember what brand it is, but it's mounted on a slider. I took a piece of a element slider, stuck it on there. All right. Look at the good stuff. This motor is actually pretty recent. This is one of those uh, Outrunners, the stubby Outrunner. Look how tiny and light that is. Little 2200 kV. That, that thing is pretty powerful and it also scoots. And then with the independent front suspension, this truck's actually kind of quick and nimble. And, uh, it, it, it's interesting. I, I haven't had it on the rocks since putting this on there, but it had really, really good low speed control. And it was also uh, fast when I you know, just ran it around in the yard. And I normally when you take a crawler, you know, if, if, if you've got locked diffs front and rear and solid axles and you, you start trying to spin around, it, it, they have a tendency to flip. But this thing was, was remarkably stable. You can see I made my own little uh, front shock towers out of some Aluminum, some eighth inch thick aluminum that I cut with a hacksaw, drilled with a eighth inch drill bit. You know, marked it all out first. Here's our body mounts from above. You can see how there's room to tape a speed controller or a radio on there. In this case, I put the speed controller up here. There's a nice little platform when you do the IFS. It's one of those copper heads been it's, it's great runs great I like it I can do the battery up here because there's no interior on the tundra usually that battery tray has got to be moved somewhere else so you put the battery here or battery back here something like that let me show you what I did to do this tonneau cover let me get that off of it so this is a this is just a piece of black ABS plastic that I cut to fit that shape. And I used black pinstriping tape on there to si simulate the segments on the tonneau cover. And then I stacked up some pieces of it and put Velcro here to Velcro it onto those spots. And that's what gave it that, that finished look. I won't put it back on there. And then underneath all of this, I don't want to take that all apart, but you can see our body mounts back there to support the bed separately from the cab. I actually drilled a hole in our front bed mount up here and I bolted the front shock right to it. I don't know if I'd go, go real hard with it while it was like that, but it, it seems like it's going to hold up. I put a washer on it and a nut and I didn't over tighten it. 
used acrylic paint on the lights, on the uh, signals. It's about everything on this truck. It's funny because I've been crawling for about 10 years and Shrink RC started about three years ago. And when Shrink RC started, this was one of the newest things around. And boy, has a lot changed in a few years. This is now one of the older chassis in my fleet. And there's a whole bunch of crazy new stuff happening. And I'll do some videos about that too. Thanks for watching. Peace.